Uh, you're tuned in to MFM 92.6 on the Drive Show. Uh, Katu and myself, JM, keeping you company up until 7 o'clock today. Uh, and for the first of the show, we are engaging politically with uh, what's been happening on campus. The latest video that came out a few days ago, what it's about is a student's experience as a student who doesn't understand being taught in Afrikaans as well. Uh, we're going to be posting the, uh, the link to this video pretty soon. Uh, very easy. Uh, you can also just search hashtag Leicester. It's the first thing that mm-hmm. pops up on Google. Because <laughs> uh, it's, it's obviously, it's, view, it's been viewed a lot. Uh, there has been a response uh, from the university administration and we are also going to be posting a link to that. Uh, but we still want to know what you have to say about this. You can tweet us at MFM96, send an SMS to 44926 or as we've said previously, you can mail us at studio at mfm.sun.ac.za uh, So we want to know what you have to say. Hello. Hi, Jam and Katua. Thank you that you can hear and live. I think the first thing is that it's definitely a very, very difficult environment is and there's a very good chance that people can be able to do it all the time because all the time has a lot of people who are able to do it. But I think as I look at the reasons is that Afrikaans weggevaard moet word, aangezien um, dit soveel geschiedenis het en is een onderdrukkerstal en alles. Waar is een notie wat ek van partij mense hoor, mok jy vir my lekker sê nie, want as jy nou nie Afrikaans is een onderdrukkerstal, dan nou wil ons Afrikaans weggevaard, maar vervang jy dit met Engels, wat omtrent een erger geschiedenis het, want in 1652 het die Engels sy Zuid-Afrika binnengekom en ons kom koloniseer, jy weet, en soos kom politieke magie oor ons um, gesit het en goeder. So, Engels het ook nie eindig gesit, of ek al so'n positieve geschiedenis nie. Dank jy vir die kaas om te vraag. Uh, just to clarify, Jan van Riebeek, who came in 1652, was definitely, definitely not English. He was Dutch. <laughs> hey, what do you have to say to us? Hey guys, uh, my name is Bongin Pilo Montane. Well, uh, I think that the language policy should change uh, so that it uh, benefits uh, most people in society. I mean, this is a public institution and therefore it should take uh, societal interest to consideration. And uh, I think since English is the medium, I mean, majority of, 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 of our South African students do do English at some point. And uh, I think English would serve uh, a much better purpose, in my opinion, and it would serve a lot more people. Um, and Stellenbosch would be able to sort of uh, get everybody um, from all parts of South Africa to sort of come here and actually get the opportunity to study. Uh, now we've got a classic banger coming up for you, but before we get that, we have time for one last person. Hello. I feel in our state's table light. It's each word or the slurs for the battery can work. And also, with all this in the lever, can it sounds more or who you do it as what they do. I think the incident was student a poor week at the class on on Friday. On a point of view, it's clear. I think the right of the university is to buy a client in a sinful gesprek, rock in the table light. And this is the right place for such great people to debate or something that all students are affected. Give your opinion, please do. Uh, Adam FM nine two six. You can tweet us or SMS us at four four nine two six. We are talking about the Laser video that came out, a documentary about the lives of students of color who attended Stellenbosch University in South Africa. Uh, now news and sports up next uh, at four thirty. But I promised you a banger, Kater, and I'm going to deliver on that promise. This one, it's Backstreet Boys with Larger Yay! Than Life. Happy Monday. <laughs> bow, 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 bow.